Turn to the left. Yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, what the uh, fuck is that? Okay. Hey. He's cool. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Anyway, <laughs> high five one more time. I missed. It's dark. Mm -hmm. Oh, it is very dark. Uh, stairway to hell. Ugh. That's tempting. Can I go? I hit myself in the head with the, <laughs> with the microphone. You all right? You know what I love more than anything? What's up? Whenever a corporate entity lapses in their judgment and they forget to tie down certain licenses. For instance, uh, Winnie the Pooh has been a thing for well over 100 years. Yeah. So, here's the thing with Winnie the Pooh. Uh, whenever something enters public domain, companies can can basically open up a trademark for their version of that character. You can live your life with it. Yes. That's crazy. So, anyway, uh, Winnie the Pooh, let's see when it came, when it originally came out. Let's see, Winnie the Pooh. You said over a hundred years, which sounds right. It's about, okay, almost Two years. more years. 90, 98 years ago. <laughs> 98 years you know, ago. beating around the bush a little bit. Well, again, based on Winnie the Bear, uh, oh, Winnie the Bear from 1915 until 1934, a female black bear. Okay, but Winnie's not a female, is? It? No, Winnie's Winnie's male in the in the cartoon or in the uh, Pooh Bear. Yeah, old Pooh Bear. Uh, but overall, I would say this. You know, this has been a very uh, you know, Disney exclusivity, and now it's run out. Because the character is now in public domain, oh. and they're able to, uh, they're able to, uh, oh god, the Soviet adaptation. No, they didn't. The so leave it to the Soviets, man. Of course, they're not going to give a shit if Disney owns it. Why should they? True. I mean, because again, like, well, it's whatever. Yeah, what can but you do? Horror adaptation. This yeah. shit right here, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. And I know that some people out there are just going to be like, this isn't the Winnie the Pooh I know. And I'm like, I know. It's uh, great, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not. <laughs> yes, it's so good. So uh, I am excited to see what happens with this. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, official trailer. Let's go ahead and get it kicking. Let's get it up on screen. And let's see what happens. Hey, let's dive right in, baby. <laughs> Oh, bother. You know, you're the first person I ever shown this place to. And why am I so special? Because soon, we'll be Christopher and Mary Robin. We should be close now. We're not going to find them. We will. Pooh, Piglet, Eeyore. <laughs> many years, and they're out there. You abandoned us. Christopher, we need to leave. Eeyore, now. rip. I really need to find out what's happening now, okay? Oh, Christopher Robin. Oh, shit! Oh. Okay. This place is kind of cool. Um, did you see how they talk? We need to go! Oh, Let's God. Go. The floor is there. Get out. There's so much. Thank you, it. <laughs> Yo, oh gosh, is that Piglet? I think so, with the tusks and everything. Oh! Oh! Why are you doing this, please? I would have never left that to You fucked up, Christopher Robin. <laughs> oh, shit. You fucked up. Is that honey? Honey and blood, yeah. So, damn. Okay. I'll say this. Oh, man. I, have, I, I don't know what to say. I, I'll leave a like on that. <laughs> I, again, it looks like Winnie and Piglet are going to be the main uh, killers in this. Mm -hmm. Because I think all the other... <laughs> All the other ones have... Got murked already? Already died or, you know, they died off. Because I guarantee you, like, 
what happened? It, what it looks like it happened was Christopher Robin abandoned them in the woods, mm-hmm. and they sort of went crazy, and like they lost direction or something. Yeah, it's just like, oh, Christopher Robin will come back. Don't worry. And then all of a sudden, what happens? Nah. It's just like he never comes back. Eeyore dies. The rabbit dies. Uh, the owl dies. The gopher dies. See, that's what I want. I want it to fill in, like fill me in on what happened to them all. I like, don't know. I guess that's I, the movie. I right? guess maybe uh, when we see it, Chris, when we see Christopher Robin, who it looked like the dude, uh, the dude that was in the beginning there was Christopher Robin. Yeah, and I guarantee you, it, it, like, there's gonna be he's gonna find like different graves, or he's gonna find like rabbits hollow burned down kind of hope there's like a prequel that. telling in this like, yeah like we see like him. we see them going crazy yeah but i like i like this cuz again it's literally it's a different them life. giving a middle finger to to disney and basically being like yeah you've had control for the winnie the pooh uh license all this time now not anymore and they didn't do shit with it well, Not that I can recall. They did the Winnie the Pooh TV shows. They did a few movies. They did a few things, but again, nothing really memorable to me. Poorly promoted or, yeah, like... Yeah. No impact. Yeah, again, it's... This is the most impactful Winnie the Pooh thing I've seen in a while. <laughs> I mean, I don't know about y'all, but this shit is going to shake some rooms. I feel that. This is different. Facts. Like, this is about <laughs> as different as it gets. Like, you gotta watch this if you just know what Winnie the Pooh is, I feel. Like, you just gotta <laughs> experience this. Like, oh, God. just to know. Like, Again, I. Like, I don't like horror movies, but I will watch this just strictly because it's I, that obscure. Again, like, there's some horror movies that I actually consider to be, like, like top notch. There's so many that are dime a dozen. So many that are just like the same skin. You got a favorite one? Like something you go back to like loyally? In terms of horror, like pure horror. You more slasher, you more spirituals, poltergeist type. Well, like. actually, I, okay, some people don't consider this a horror movie. I consider it, a, a, some people consider it a thriller. I consider it partially a horror movie because of what your mind does whenever you're presented with what happens in it. Uh, the movie Seven. Have you ever seen that? I haven't seen it. Okay. It's got Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt in it. Uh, they're two detectives on the trail of this person who seems to be living out or like executing people in accordance to the Seven Deadly Sins. Oh, shit. And basically, every single one of them, like they have to investigate... Uh, how like how the person became the designated one who would die for like greed or gluttony or uh, or like lust or anything That's like deep. that. And not only that, but you're show like what they do is they show you pieces, the pieces of the puzzle that happen with the thing, uh-huh. and then they show the people who were like who mm. lived through the experience and were the victims of it. Mm. And their explanations of what they did. There's not... Again, I remember watching a review. It was like uh, Siskel and Ebert back in the day. And then being like, this is one of the goriest films that I could ever recall in my history. And I'm like, there wasn't that much gore in it, my dude. What are you talking about? Yeah. And it's because of what your mind does whenever they show you everything. All the pieces that happened in the scenario... And then they start explaining what happened in the scenario, and then your mind does all the work for you. Oh. That, to me, again, one of my favorite setups. And also, one of my favorite conclusions because of just of like how it comes together and it doesn't feel cheap. There are so many horror things that come together and it just feels cheap whenever the ending happens. And the studio wanted that. The studio wanted to try and do a cheap ending to it, but you know how much the dude, like Morgan Freeman and Brad Pitt, had faith in it? And faith in the, the director's vision? They literally said, if you change the ending, we will not promote this film. Period. And That's they, real, right? And they there. backed off and the film released as is. Fuck yeah. And it came out and it's it's one of my favorite films in terms of just like deduction, like the pure horrific, like, like violence that your mind like does for you 
and such a great and such a great story. I Ooh, love I love Ooh, Seven. Yes, I gotta seven. check it. I guess. Yeah, well, I love both those actors, Morgan oh, Freeman and Brad Pitt. Well, so. dude, it's it's great, and, and there's a lot of other great actors in it. And it's uh, the guy that directed it, David Fincher. He's one of my favorite directors ever, and I really want him to make another horror film. He's he's doing these films now where he's. He's basically like veered away from doing horror and suspense and all that. I'm like, dude, you were so good at it. <laughs> Come, Come back. back, please. Please. Make another horror film. <laughs> I love you, man. Anyway, uh, yeah, that was Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey, official trailer. What do y'all think? Do y'all think I this- got to know what y'all think do about this Do y'all shit. think this is going to be fire? Do y'all think this is going to be hot garbage? Are you in between? Let us know. But, uh, yeah, leave a comment down below. And until next time, I'm Nate. I'm drawn up, man. We'll see y'all later, everybody. Peace. Peace.